Hi all, welcome to Die.3D YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see how to make 3D printer using 3030 aluminum extrusions and with some 3D printed parts. I am making my 3D printer using 3030 aluminum extrusions. So you can see here, uh, these are the 3030 aluminum extrusions. You can see these 3030 aluminum extrusions little closer. Let me focus. Yeah, you can see. I'm using this because it will be like strong compared to other like 20 and 20. So I'm using this to get little you know stronger 3D printer. So these are the brackets for 3030 aluminum. So these are like. It is suitable for 3030 aluminum extrusions. Using this, we'll create the main structure of the 3D printer. So, mainly it will be used to uh, attach one extrusion with another one. So, I am using these smooth rods. These are 10 mm smooth rods. So, I am using these rods for X axis. So if you want, you can use 8 mm smooth rod also. These are little bigger. It's around uh, 660 millimeters. Okay. So yeah, it's a good one. And I'm using these threaded rods. These are trapperized uh, 8 mm threaded rods. Okay. So this will be used for Z axis. So actually there will be two because for the Z axis we'll be using two motors. So for the two motors we can use this two rods. And yeah, these are the 8 mm smooth rods. So totally four. Two will be used for uh, Y axis. Two will be used for Z axis. So it's around 500 mm each. So for the Y axis, you can select little bigger around 550 mm and these are the uh, bearings okay so these are the bearings uh, will be used for x axis for 10 mm smooth rod so i'm using few 3d printed parts here so Let me show you a little closer. So these are few. You can print it for this 3D printer. This 3D printer. So it won't take much time. So either you, if you have uh, another printer, you can print it, or else you can give order in online where you can get these printed parts if you upload the files. So uh, so I'm using these 3D printed parts so uh, these are the end stops for each axis so so there will be three so let me show you a little closer so and this is the extruder one so i'm using these motors these are name of motors it's little high uh, torque it's around it will give around uh, 4 kg torque so i'm using same motors for all the axis so you can see totally you can find five so uh, one for the y axis one for the x axis two for z axis one for the extruder I'm using this main board for my 3D printer. This is MKS Genel version 1.0. And for the motors, I'm using DRV8825. I'm using the same drivers for all motors. So, and for the display, I'm using this uh, this one. This is MKS uh, TFT24. It's a touch screen display. So, I'm using this for this MKS port and for additional options I'm also using secondary screen this is 12864 
riprap full graphics controller so and for the yeah i'm using this e3d v6 hot end so let me show you a little closer let me focus yeah i'm using this e3d v6 hot end for my 3d printer So uh, these are the parts for my 3D printer, few more parts I will show you in the next videos.